Hey there everyone and welcome to JavaScript course and we are again having some fun with JavaScript. So now that it is perfectly clear about you, to you that what is if and else and how we can deep dive and how it is actually being implemented in a real life scenario. Now I would like to take this thing a further and giving you a simple example about uh, my website here again learn code online and uh, it's a simple website where you can buy and uh, have a preview of the courses. So there is one feature in the course that uh, one is which allows you to buy the course and the second one which allows you to have kind of a free preview of the course enrolling as a guest. So how these features can be applied and for that we have to learn some of the logical operations as well. So let's just see how we can do that. That's pretty easy. Now we have actually two kind of operation. Basically there are three but uh, the third one is actually pretty easy. So the first one is known as AND operator. So this is your AND operator. There we go. So the AND operator is something like when you somebody says AND, like something I want a pizza and a cold drink. So he is not saying I want either one of them. He's saying I need a pizza and a cold drink. So AND simply is uh, something where you need both of them to be true. So in this case, you can simply say both uh, sides both sides need to be true in order to proceed further. So this is what we are having here. So this is your first operator. And the second one is similar to this which is known as OR. Now this is the key which is just above your enter key. Uh, it's really hard to find sometime. And this is known as your OR operation. So this is called as OR operation. Okay. And this is like something what you say. Uh, can you, uh, would you like to have a tea or coffee? And here we are not saying that you are asking for both. We are simply giving you a choice that whether you would like to have a tea or a coffee. So just like that, again, remember and is always something like I would like to have a pizza and Coke because hey, everybody loves pizza and Coke. And for the or it's like, would you like to have a tea or coffee and you choose one of them. Okay. So uh, here we can say one side uh, need to be need to be true in order to get a true result and both side here I'm talking about here. So in the AND operation we are saying we need pizza and coke and if somebody is saying that hey we don't have coke that means uh, we are asking for both if there is not going to be one we are going to go leave the restaurant just like that. So if somebody says hey we don't have pizza we have just coke would you like to have it and we're going to say no we want both. And uh, similar to that, uh, if somebody says to me, hey, we have just a Coke, we, we just have pizza, we don't have Coke. And I'm going to say, no, I'm going to go to nearby some other chain where I can find both of them. So here, both of the need to be necessarily done here. And in the OR operation, only one is true, then it's totally fine. And usually it's one of them are true. Okay. So in order to much better understand the situation, we're going to take a real world example of, again, from my website. So we're going to be declaring a few variables here. So uh, let's just code that. So is uh, verified. So first of all, this is for the verified user. We're going to be directly assigning true and false values here. No worries at all. And we're going to say is logged in. And that is also going to be, let's just start with the true all of them. And then we're going to have like something has payment token. And we're going to simply say true. There we go. And Let's just have one more, which is is guest, and that is going to be true. So there, these are the few key points or the turning points that we have decided for the website. Now we want to simply write a logic where we want to assign some part of the user as a guest and some part of the user as simply able to purchase the course. Okay, so first of all, let's have if statement. Now based on this particular environment, obviously there can be many others as well and obviously there are many others as well. So we're going to be choosing that if somebody wants to purchase a course, uh, I want to check almost all of them. Okay, so I'm going to be checking first of all is verified and he needs to be verified and notice I'm using and here. I'm not saying he can be verified or he can have a payment token. No, he should be verified and at the time of purchasing he should be logged in. So that is also going to come up as an and and also he should have has payment token. Without all of these things, I'm not going to give a, a course to him. Like if he has a payment token, but he's not logged in. So how can I give him a course? And in order to purchase a course, you need to be verified as well. Otherwise, uh, after three days, your account will be blocked. You will not be able to access that. So these all things needs to be fulfilled. And this is exactly what we are doing here. So in that particular case, I can write something like uh, console 
dot log and first and foremost i'm going to give us some kind of a greeting message like that so greeting message to user oops to user and then we can have something like uh, grant grant access to paid course whatever the course he has purchased with that token so that is a kind of an end now here we are saying hey this needs to be true this needs to be true this needs to be true there is no option here we are giving you all the condition needs to be fulfilled but here uh, when we are assigning other things let's just say let's go in the else part and in the else part let's have an f and there we go like that so in this condition we can be a little bit lenient we can simply ask that uh, if a user is let's just say verified or is maybe a guest user so let's just say is guest we don't really care much about it so in this case it can be like something hey uh, if the user is not even verified uh, and is just a guest we can simply allow him the access of uh, as a guest user so so we're gonna say simply like console dot log and there we go so we are simply saying here is allow free previews there we go okay and what else we can do we can simply have an else block which is going to catch everything rest of the stuff and we're going to simply say can console.log and we are going to say a uh, message something like please uh, contact admin <laughs> something like that okay so here we have learned that uh, there there are some things which can be handled pretty easily with these logical operations and obviously if you want to run that that's no big deal uh, we can run that and we can simply say now it's saying hey uh, uh, please verify your email send in you send in the user email verification and all of that oops i actually ran the wrong file i need to run node and logical ops there we go so greeting to the message and grant access to the paid so notice all of them are true but if any one of them goes like false like for example is verified is going to go false now what is going to happen this whole block will be like nope i'm not going to go inside that so just run that again and notice allow free previews so we are now inside this one and we are saying hey you know what the user is uh, a guest so we can allow him so here we can see that here just the one situation got off and the entire block was not executed but here only the one block was allowed which is his guest but still uh, we got like an access to this block so very important and crucial information a lot of time you can just reduce down a lot of your work in the f and else block using these logical operation now there is one more guy which usually people don't talk uh, which is something which would reverse everything now this is a little bit strange now if i put an exclamatory sign here notice what happens i'll save that and i'll run that and notice it says greeting message to user grant access to paid codes so can you guess what happened just there yes this exclamation sign is a reverse uh, logical operation so whatever the value you're storing in your variable it just returns an, a negative of that so it only works in the boolean operations so if you have a false value it is going to convert that into true if you have a true value it's going to convert that into false it's kind of a work on a reverse psychology you might have heard about that uh, so if somebody says yeah i'm going to go there and he says no i'm not going to go there so this is kind of a reverse psychology and you can just remember that always by hey this is a reverse psychology so this is known as not operator in the programming terms but i usually call them on all of my boot camps as reverse psychology and this is what usually parents play with their uh, kids if they're not gonna go there they use the reverse psychology and just works with that so yes sometimes work can be a little bit easy with this reverse psychology and in some of our project works you're gonna see that how this reverse psychology can be really helpful uh, when things are really painful and just like it helps parents it helps us as well so there we go your nice introduction about your logical operation your and and or and you have also seen how these things can be actually implemented when you're working on a website or a project or whatever you are creating so that's up for this video and i'm going to surely catch you up in the next one and don't forget to visit learncodeonline.in